Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether this is love, okay, whether this is love or lust, what feelings are involved here, what could this be in the future. This is going to be a general reading guys, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay guys, I want you to take a moment, think about your romantic energy, your special person. Try and keep a vision or a visual of them in your mind and we're going to go ahead and see what exactly this is or this could be. This is intense this is very passionate here okay obviously with the presence of the devil this is a strong attraction okay strong levels of attraction a very intense a very profound connection here but it does have its negative influences okay it does have you know somewhat of a toxic element to this connection you guys are very deeply drawn to each other so much so that I feel like your souls have merged here and you're finding it hard to separate, you know, who's who, oneself from the other. You've become, without being, you know, aware of it, I think that this has been a bit of a whirlwind romance. It was an instant connection, an instant attraction that really took over you. There's a very strong sense of sexual energy and sexual chemistry that's present in the cards, which is what sort of gravitated the two of you to one another. And, you know, notice the devil's hypnotic stare. You guys cannot get enough of one another. It's uh, an energy that feels like it's very addictive. It's very intoxicating. It's very consuming. And, you know, for as, in, as intoxicating as it is, it's a love that you want to stay drunk on. You guys are both so into each other. But with that does come its toxicities because, you know, I, I feel like the two of you have merged together and you have, in doing so, you've lost your sense of individuality. You've lost your sense of independency here, right? You've lost a sense of who you are. I'm also seeing that this is a type of a connection where you, but you both kind of tear each other up, you know, only then to sort of stitch each other back up together. Okay, make up, you break up to make up, you tear each other up, and then you sort of stitch each other back up. So this is not healthy. It is, you know, it does have, it does have its toxicities from what I'm seeing. There could be some emotional abuse as well. I'm seeing this either, this connection either suffers from communication problems. Okay, it could be control issues as well. It could be that, you know, the both of you are walking on eggshells around each other. Maybe someone he always makes them feel like, you know, they're the bad guy. Like they're constantly misunderstood or being put down here. So I, I'm, I am picking up some emotional abuse here in the readings. But there is an instant connection. There is an instant attraction here with this person. Look, the devil doesn't necessarily do love. He does lust. So I'm not saying that this isn't love. But for some of you, I feel like this could be... A very profound sense of attraction to one another and it feels so intense and it feels so raw that you know there's a lot of chemical impulses 
that potentially could be disguising itself, masquerading itself as love here. But there's an undeniable connection or attraction that the two of you feel to one another, right? Even though from from the very beginning here, it feels very um, unexplainable, very puzzling here. A lot of intimacy here. But I think this not only exists on a physical level, it exists on a, an emotional, intellectual and a spiritual level as well. And I feel like the two of you have that from the very beginning, from the very get-go. And this is a very strong indication that, you know, you are experiencing this, you know, instant connection. However, I do feel like there's a lot of... I feel like there's some a lot of conflict or this heaviness in the energies. You know, I see that it's very easy to be yourself around this person. And I see that they get a rush from being around you and, you know, you share the same sentiments. You, It almost feels like the two of you are, like you can't stop thinking about one another. It almost feels like the two of you are drunk here just from being in their company or even um, thinking about them. It's like, you know, just like all substances have an effect, the type of effect, you know, leads to an addiction. It's like ch chances are you start wanting more and more and more. And this person feels like, you know, they want to consume more of you. There's this buzz, there's this craving that they've been hit with. And it's that instant chemistry that you provide. The two of you really vibe from what I'm seeing. You know, you, you get along, but it runs deeper. You know, um, it runs deeper to your energetic core here. You kind of... It's like you and them against the world. That's what it feels like. They spark your curiosity, you spark theirs, and I'm seeing that you guys mirror each other in so many ways as well. Okay, however, I'm also seeing that, you know, you guys spark each other's imagination, and you definitely interest and intrigue one another, and that's a good sign, because it's a sign that's going to help you grow. But I do feel like, and look, even the silences can be comfortable, right? And I think that the two of you have developed a very strong... A very strong connection with each other you're very excited by each other's company here you've got a lot to say to one another but even when you sit in silence you don't feel the pressure to have to fill the gap with conversations so what you have is something very powerful something very strong and very profound but i do think there are some toxicities okay about this connection that um it feels like to me, it feels like you might have stumbled upon your soulmate in this person. It does. But it also feels like you, there is a lot of inner work that your soulmate here or your person needs to do. Okay, there's some... I think this has staying power, but you guys need to engage in self-reflection. You guys need to identify the problems that plague this relationship. And I'm seeing that there are some changes that needs to be made. Okay, because it feels like you both need to be willing to change and accept the responsibility for the role that you play in this relationship. And understand that some relationships just cannot be fixed. They cannot be saved. I'm not saying that this is one of them, but I'm saying that, you know, a toxic relationship can change. But it comes with wanting to apply those changes right and you both want it you both wanting and having to um, commit so is this love or is this lust it could it could be love it could be love because this is because of the intensity here it could be love and i think the both of you are just so drawn and you're so attracted to towards one another or it could be infatuation that is eventually going to transform and you know um, transform itself into love but it does feel very powerful it does feel very magnetic it does feel very intense but I just think you guys need to find because there's so much passion and so much emotion and so much depth you guys need to find a healthy way to explore those emotions okay if you're expressing it in an unhealthy way it's going to result in toxicities which is what's happening here because the both of you you love each other but you also hurt each other and I think that hurt is because is a result of the both of you projecting your hurts onto each other and your insecurities onto the relationship. So if you can, if you can find a way to, you know, work through some of this 
pain and insecurity, I think this could be a, you know, a, a very powerful, a very strong connection that does feel like it has lasting power. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. Bye.